I was hitchhiking through the north at the time. I'd been dropped off by a friend in Whangarei. It was raining and I was sheltering from the rain and this lovely woman came out of the fruit and veggie store. She had such a regal power to her, astute and sure with her shopping. I don't look that good with the shopping. She, look, she looks amazing. Yeah. The camera I use is the Mamiya RZ67 with the 110mm 2.8 lens. And that's the same camera I've used since my second year of undergraduate degree. So it's been a very long time that I've been using that camera. As a result of using such a simplified method, I'm able to work with the subject, with the people that I'm working with. I'm able to work with the environment in a much more focused way. I was using photography at the time when I was doing most of the social documentary work as a way to ask people questions about their lives because I thought it was a good idea to try and inform myself from as many different opinions and ways of living as possible. The camera was, was secondary to our engagement but it was a good reason to kind of initiate that moment. And then you don't get to see it for like four months. I wouldn't get the film developed and so I had 40, 50 rolls of film built up which is like 400 shots and so you've got 400 encounters and portraits. Pretty exciting, pretty nerve-wracking. The last four years I've been working more in the fragmented view with more restricted croppings and more formal compositions. It's the ability of the fragments and the condensed sort of restricted view to create an image that, while not necessarily just depicting something, is able to allude to a greater narrative. And it also means that it has more possibilities to fit into the narratives that I'm trying to make in my books. That was just a logical conclusion to how to process my work and how to fit it into a narrative and how to get it out of my, my head. And then discovering darkroom printing, I suppose, discovering a way to get a print that to me was just such a sublime process and experience and finish and that I could control it in such a kind of organic way myself. It's pretty rare that you see something that off the bat you know as an image that you're interested in making. But when you do see something and suddenly you see an image or a person or a subject or a composition or something that you're just like, that is probably a very good picture, is very exciting and it's an emotion that it's very hard to replicate. I'm Solomon Mortimer and I am a photographer, a bookmaker and an artist.